my take is um one of the we have two things we are we are demanding of the Department of Transport and the Minister. <clears throat> First and foremost is the removal of the Chairman of the Transport Board within 72 hours. Um, secondly, for the National Bank of Belize, who is willing to work with the BBA and bus operators countrywide. Um, one of the, the, the things, they, they already have an MOU signed with the Department of Transport <clears throat> for, for that effect. But what the bank wanted from the department was a seat <clears throat> on the transport board in order to protect the investment needed to give to operators and to protect that the bank will be able to get back its money. It's the people's money. It's the people who deposit businesses and private individuals who deposit their money in the National Bank. <clears throat> that is the money we'll be getting. So um, we are also demanding that the National Bank gets a seat on the transport board when this transport board is reformed. This will also give the security to bus operators. And it will also give the other banking and lending institution in this country a peace of mind knowing that is there that is, there is someone from the banking industry that sits on that board to protect the investments being made by our local banks so those are two demands we are asking for um if the minister and the department truly wants to see the upgrades they want and they're telling us we need 50 percent of our fleets to be upgraded by december um, the BBA has all the major operators under our umbrella. Um, with all of us, you're looking at over 200 buses. Of that 200, over 200 buses, we need to have 50%, which is about 100 or so buses by December this year, up to their standards. And there is no way in hell for the large operators to do that without having the lending institutions at our side.